really surprising here. Maybe just that Varus first pick you've already mentioned. Yeah, leaving that one open. Uh, very standard comp from Fnatic. Much better draft from Fnatic, we have to highlight. If we team fights, it's always been where he kind of shined a lot. Like, Wild Source has always been known for his, you know, crazy spiritual laning phase to avoid it. They're actually going for Hillis. Man, Hillis, why are you so far up? Hillis Sang has no flash, remember, and first blood picked up by Reckless. Nice on HP, this is risky, this is risky, oh, but everybody's coming. low. Reckless and Jez is there, split up. Broxa can't help, Jez is, is down. Unicorns decide to dive. Reckless gets dunked by Samux. Two kills, and it looks like Tower First Blood. So Fnatic thought Exile was too low to really force this play, but then suddenly realized it's not about Exile. He's just there as a distraction. But it still puts him in a goal deficit, and Broxa Gonna get jumped on. Another big leap from Xerxy. Savagery used to chase forward in the bush. Jumps out. One on one. Broxa goes down. Flash over the gravity field. With the help of a curtain call, Caps should get dropped. Samux with another. All right, we had nothing happening in this game just before, but Unicorns is teleport very, very shortly. Uh, the tower's still not fallen, so this has bought enough time for at least Reckless and Jezus to take down bottom. Broxa survives for a few seconds, decides to go back in, trying to help out Caps. The Chaos Storm and the Siphon Power, that gets a kill. Rune Prison into Overload. Now Soez is joining the fight. Exile looks to get rooted. There's no flash to escape. It's a little messy, but it's Reckless that shuts him down. So in the end here, two for two, and now Fnatic pushing mid lane. Every single time someone gets a kill, Baron is low enough, they run back in to secure it. Great play. Such great play. Zero risk, and there's even a realm warp to oh, safety. Oh, Samix had to finish that one off. <laughs> Sheepy is as surprised as we are. Chachi, you're supposed to run now because you just took Baron. Okay, flashes away from the chain of corruption. Tagged by a piercing arrow, the rest of Fnatic is coming down. There's a Chachi gonna buy some time. It looks like Caps. We'll be able to run him down. Where's the CC? Not going to connect. Was it Chachi's going to go low? Teleport's interrupted! Joke's on you, Chachi. We nerfed teleport. Takes longer to channel. Where possible, has the potential to flank and turn around. Soaz gets prisoned in place. The bomb's going to at least knock up Senkax. Here comes the Realm Warp. Going to deliver Unicorns of Love into Fnatic's hands. Defensive flashes and the collateral to buy some time. Brox is getting tagged by the call of the curtain. And Caps is running for his life. Fnatic lose two. There we go. Unicorns of Love finally gets the kills. Now they also get the inhibitor. Throw that up. The inhibitor in the mid lane. The brain start working for a second again. Well, get the tower, get the inhib. They've got supers, a 10,000 gold lead, and just another fantastic decision. Decisive from Unicorns of Love. Yeah, the patience as well. It's like Cirque is sitting at the flank, you know, waiting, waiting, you waiting. Have to, you have to stop for a second. Patience. Patience. Unicorns of Love. I, I don't think that's a phrase we've used a huge amount. Well, it's been a great game. There's a Chachi <laughs> wailing away on that inhibitor. Mid lane, obviously down, has been for a little while. Soez is going to be the target for now. Someone playing Nautilus when behind is really a sucky feeling, though, because no matter what you do, you're just kind of diving in and you don't do a whole lot, you just die. Yeah, definitely. Redemption's going to be used by Fnatic. The third and final inhibitor drops. Unicorns of Love set their sights onto the Nexus and. They are just ushering these barren, empowered super minions onto the turrets. This could be where Fnatic and 5v5, they've got Exile, they blow him up! Stranglethorns buys a little bit of time, allows Unicorns to escape. Hillisang almost gets chunked down as that death ray. So, so close, Fnatic, but that's a flash! Reckless, piercing arrow gets a kill. The problem just about to respawn. You can tell by the animation on your screen, and of course, Unicorn's already poised to take it down. Broxa, collateral damage to buy some time, and Exile's caught out once again. You can't make those mistakes at this stage, Exile. Piercing Arrow flies across the Unicorn squad. It's going to drop them low. So it is as well. No GA, but the inhibitor goes down. Double supers refreshed. For now, it's a double-double.
That's what unicorns are looking for. Oh, Soares teleporting behind. This might be the comeback. No ultimate for Soares. Where's the support? Soares finds himself right. caught between the kitty cats and the rest of the unicorns. Piercing arrow chunks down Samax. Fnatic can't engage. Soares kind of left for dead. The shield buys some time. GA is popped from Visit Chachi and Gravity Field. Means that he's going to get caught in place but not going to get killed. Have to remember, Fnatic are fighting against Elder Drake. Effectively, Unicorns are locked owning 95% of the map. It's been the same way for like, what, 15, 20 minutes almost? Oh yes, oh yes. Oh. GA has popped, Xerxes and Vizachachi come up. Fnatic want to defend Soez's life. He's low, 1,000 HP. Exile drops him down. Soez is out, five versus four. Vizachachi's looking to re-engage his caps. Throws down the siphon power on the death ray. Another inhibitor the target. Yeah, and rest of unit inhibits that. It's been small fights. Small fights, of course. But everyone was getting involved. Visit Chachi's pulled backwards. Chachi can still use the subjugate to buy some time. Gravity field backwards. Not going to get a chance. <laughs> Reckless is on a rampage. Oh, man. I was joking earlier, by the way, when I said Fnatic had like another 40 minutes. Well, Fnatic. Starts at the fight, Strangle Thorn's gonna knock up three. What can Unicorns do? GA has popped, there's two more to burn through. Xerxes has popped as well. Fnatic, they're winning the fight. Unicorns are running away. Xerxes caught, Xerxes killed. Reckless is unstoppable. Reckless wants to go godlike. Jez is running onto the front line. No more CC to work with just yet. Deadly Flourish doesn't root Fnatic. And at 47 minutes, in a 10,000 gold deficit, Fnatic win the fight. Forget the last 25 minutes. Fnatic now are dead even, maybe even stronger with the comp. Not done yet. No GA Chachi. He flashes away. All of a sudden, now Hilly's caught in the back end. Soaz and Caps, they drop him down. Elder is up. Baron is up. Fnatic kill Exile. They can take what they want. They've been farming and farming and farming. Full items, team fighting calm, late game. Unicorns of Love had such a good mid game, but who the hell cares when we're now 48 minutes into the game? And Fnatic, they're winning. They're gonna take down the inhibitor. Soaz is teleporting in for this one. 40 seconds for Exile, 30 for Hillisang. Deficio, they're going for the win. Samax, trying to Super Bowl all over again. Oh my word, here comes Xerxes. The gravity field stuns them out. Flash into collateral damage. Samax can't escape. Chachi's trying to do what he can, but it's one on five. Fnatic, how the hell did you turn that one around? For more than 10,000 gold with no inhibitors, Fnatic beat the Unicorns. The game is never over. The Nexus has to die first. And the Unicorns of Love. You can run cleanse, and then you can use that for these late game fights in case you do get taunted up. Otherwise, Ghost is the other option for extra mobility. So, overall, here, a lane. So, he's been a very consistent player, which is a very standard thing for him. Now I want to see in this bottom lane if Unicorns can keep kind of landing the harass and kind of win again that potion war. Caps here taking some damage and potential gank from Xerxes. Oh, we're just gank. Xerxes is going to jump onto Caps, cleanse, and Flash comes up. Flash forward from Xerxes. Caps gives up first blood, secured by Xerxes. Rocks Lost his flash and died right after. Jess is in mid lane. All right, Flash and Exhaust is available to Jess's exile. No Flash, but Ghost is up. The Crabs. And the shotgun take him down. All right, a one for one in the end. That's what I was saying though about caps, you know. Damage from Xerxes. Actually, he trades back evenly. The fight's not over yet. That's a stun oh, on top of He gets dropped down. Exile gets another for UOL. Here comes Caps, looking for a petrifying gaze. Twin Fangs needed. Not going to get it yet. Hellasun gets turned. Chrono Shift has already been used. There's the cleanse from Caps. Flashes forward. Shadow United comes back available. And all of a sudden, UOL wins. Man, just went fanatic if Fnatic didn't opt into it, and they okay. actually did. Opting in, opting in, Xerxes opts in, gonna use the battle roar to escape, that's a stun! Skank file gets caught out, no stand United available. Visit Chachi's looking for Caps, Curtain Call won't find the kill, Caps goes down, mid laners are secured. There was a teleport and a flash from Chachi that was needed. Well. Uh, He's not done yet. Dice should still be available. Once again, right, next looks like up. he should be able to sustain. This should be a kill. And the credit goes to Vizzy Chachi. Close. He bought a lot of time. Sadly, the rest of Fnatic haven't been able to...
Surprise! Maybe they don't need to do it again, Jezus. Nether Grasp onto Exile. Exile's QSS gets him to safety, but the Void Swamp, he walks back into it. Manages to get the shield thanks to those runes, and Caps, battle roar down. Yeah, Caps getting caught on the bottom side, but Unicorns, they're going for more. They are! Broxa, he's out of position. Vizichachi gets the Shadow Dash taunt, which secures the kill. All of a sudden, Unicorns, with two quick kills and one outer turret remaining, they're gonna push oh, the team from behind. The Baron down to 1200. Picked up by Fnatic. How many people die? Jesus is killed. Soaz is killed. So is Brox and Reckless. Oh, no, the recall. The Sunfire Cave. That interrupts it. All right, Mystic Shots and Arcane Shift. Here comes Xerxy over the side. Petrifying Gaze stuns nobody. The entire Fnatic team is in trouble. Reckless will be jumped on. Spirit's Refuge blocks all those attacks. And Reckless goes down. Fnatic are ace. <laughs> oh, they tried to sneak that Baron with Unicorns going for the Dragon, but so many Unicorns members were still near the mid lane. And then, of course, Exile, who ran by the Baron, didn't see a thing. And then suddenly they realize this is getting a little bit fishy. Where, where is Fnatic on the map right now? They find him, they kill him. 25 minutes in, Trevor, base is open. They see the fish, they shoot the fish in a barrel. Fnatic got aced and it just, it... See, I, I've see, never I... seen that. I've never down. So has a teleport available. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, where are you going, my friend? He's running away from the rest of you, OL. Cap screams to death. Somehow, Hillisang has gone down. I didn't quite see exactly where that one was. Sidestep the route. Bola will lock him into place. Dominus buys time. Stand United as well. And Samich with the crit. He gets the kill. It's so hard to play against like Rai CC, Rengar CC. Is that a double stun from a... Not before he's pulling Jezus and Soaz away. Inhibitor in the mid lane goes down. Ruthless Predator locks him up. But there's a big time window. 50 seconds inside the pit. A reminder that Unicorns have allowed their down 0-1 in the series. So, Unicorns with this Baron. And the Supers in the mid lane. Now they're going to look to close. Thank you very much. There we go. Base is now open again on the bottom side. All right. The rest of Unicorns now on to inhibitor number two. Mid lane is already down. There's not a lot of minions to work with in the top. And Unicorns just, you know, League of Legends. Nexus turret number one, that's gonna fall. That's more than UOL got in the first game. Jezus is tagged by one of those shots as Xerxes uses the battle roar to escape. Jezus stays alive. Nethergrass is still available to him, but there's no more towers. Xerxes continues to get tagged by those mystic shots. Soez is the target. He's stunned, he's rooted, he's killed. Exile's on the killing spree. Jezus looking to use Nethergrass on Chachi, but it's a double kill for Exile. He's throwing out overloads for days. Petrifying Gaze locks up two. Samix doesn't get killed though, and Reckless is on the steps. He's not gonna get popped. The Nexus turret is down. The Nexus is falling. Unicorns of Love force a deciding game. This time, the wave there wasn't the same. The scaling wasn't the same for Fnatic and Unicorns of Love. They find their way to the Nexus. Malzahar locked down. Not the order at <laughs> all that we were anticipating. Priority list shifted. I mean, this is such a different pick and ban phase. We got some old school picks in here because of the way the ghost works now. It's like slow charging in the start. It's not going to save you when uh, Elise ganks with Cocoon. Only if uh, you spot her very early on. That one before, yep. when he didn't get Because the last one just stepped out and kind of reset. Oh, oh. he's dead. Oh. No! Oh, he's dead. Okay, okay, he's dead, he's dead. Woo! Oh, it's way too last good at top. Last tick. That's cool. Like, it's fun to watch these team fights. We'll see more of them later. Chachi is now oh, on the Soas. That's an overheating rumble. Flame Spitter and Minis. Look at Chachi. Look at his player cam. That is a... And a slap in the face at the same time. <gasps> oh, will he get slapped again? Where's the cocoon? On to visit Chachi. Repel. Not going to be in time. A bit, of revenge. a bit of revenge. We'll be able to escape. Xerxes is going to get caught out here by the strangle thorns. But cheers and it's been an emotional roller coaster. Oh, Nether Grass bitch. bunch of Broxa. Unleashed power is available as well. Broxa stunned and taken down. It's Hillisang that gets the kill. Here comes Soaz. That's a pretty good equalizer. Looking to burn down Hilly. Shuts him down. Soaz is on a killing spree and Vizachachi wants to try kill him. Uh, Soaz and Caps don't have one. So equalizer just for that one. Oh, exile. Oh, this is going to be problematic. The cocoon catches him out. Deadly flourish and sink the fangs in. Where? 
Everybody's being caught out. Now the grasp onto Soas. That's going to lock him in place. Because the Chachi should be able to close this one out. And he does. Fnatic get themselves a tower. And with the sh Good from him. So the soul lane has got rolling early. Now a stun here. It is indeed. Reckless is able to flash away. That's a very good equalizer. But the Stranglethorn's not going to buy enough time. Caps is down. Brox and Soas is going to get run down. Curtain Call is up. There may not be enough damage. Soas is killed. Unicorns get one as Brox and repels over the wall. So he's going to be able to run just yet as Reckless runs out of it. Favor of Unicorns then. That is time. a terrifying concept. Okay, Caps is caught up with the Nether Grasp. Sanguine Pool is going to be able to get him out of range. Now Samich, so why did you walk that far forward? Going to get a lot of shields, a lot of heals. Redemption, the delay is too slow. Samich's over eager to make something happen. Scatter the weak ground is available. Broxa, with a little bit of pressure as Jesses flashes over the wall. Broxa will go down here to exile. Simply too much hard CC and you are well. Knowing there's no smite, they've turned for Baron. You have to remember how good Ivan is around Baron's with the shields, with the brush to kind of hide the HP as well, make it even harder. Good and steals, but this is what Fnatic wants with their conversation. Vladimir ulti, Rumble ulti, are so powerful near the Baron. Sanguine pool's already been in there, so Exile's taking a lot of damage. Equalizer's burning down. Baron, there's no vision. Exile's getting burst and killed and chunked. Redemption won't save his life. Now Baron is resetting. Soas flashes in aggressively, gets a kill through the exhaust, trades his life for it. Defensive from Reckless. Deadly flourishes, sidestepping caps. Tides of blood just about to pop. He gets rooted into place. Trigger seed forward. Sanguine pool once again. Reckless looking oh, for more. Ace in the risky. hole from Samux. Tries to channel it. 90 caliber. Reckless sends him packing. You can't just do that right in front of the enemy. You can't start charging your ulti. First, who right. going to be? Yeah. Oh. He's... Oh. Scats of the weak, just a little bit shy. But the unleashed power gets the kill. Jesus is able to buy a couple of seconds. And Judge is here again. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Back to Baron, baby. Rumble ulti is still there. Oh. No. Crab actually tagged that one. Caps wants to flank. Where's the equalizer? That's oh, going to up Unicorns of Love. Caps throws down the Hemo Plague. And all of Unicorns are running. Hellasang is down. So is Soaz. They've traded back and forth. Stranglethorns buy some time, but it just gets him a cupcake. It's delicious and sweet, but not enough to get more kills. One for one, but Renekton is very low. He has teleport to win the game. Stranglethorns is available. Caps has Hemo Plague. Baron's going very, very low. 4,000 HP. Hemo Plague's been used into the pit. Goes Broxa. Look at the damage from Hemo Plague. Redemption heals up, but Caps is down. Caps is dead. Equalizer's still a few seconds away. They've traded one for one with Visit Chachi down and Caps down. What <laughs> more can Soez do? Oh, God. Stop going for Baron when they're alive. Double kill Snipe. for Reckless! Man, you're just setting up this Vladimir! Caps doesn't need any CC in front of him when they're all grouped at Baron. Iron is gonna try and steal. No flash available to Xerxes. He's still get over the pit Samix. with his kit. Samix has got a couple of traps. Fnatic, they don't want to risk it. Brox is tanking up the Baron autos. Ooh, they're stopping, actually, because, again, they know Xerxes is behind. Smite is available. Gonna look to burst. Here comes Hillisang as well. Nethergast not available. Goes into the he pit. Got it. Up. Unicorns get the Baron steal. Brox is killed as well. Samix on a killing spree. And now all of a sudden, call of the void. That's gonna silence up Soez and Reckless. Ace in the hole. Body blocked by Reckless. Oh, teleport, teleport coming down for Chachi. Why not go full chaos? Reckless is gonna get run down. Visit Chachi. Coles the meek. Slices and dices, sets the prices and sends. Get in a wave clear when there's so many members around. You have that, Caitlin. Fisher, EU Barons, man. EU Barons, <laughs> fanatic unicorns of love, Barons as well. Leather grasp onto Soaz. Got his QSS now. He's going to use that QSS to get away, but the inhibitor. Soaz already used the equalizer. We just caught that a second ago. Redemption will likely just slow him in place. Hourglass buys Doesn't a couple extra Caitlin. seconds, and Samix doesn't care. Pilt over Peacemaker takes him down. Visachachi was able to solo caps and unicorns of love. They've taken absolute control of this game. Yeah, gonna be on that melee minion. And this will be the second inhibitor falling. Three members of Fnatic in a defense situation. Once again, the wave clear, not the greatest. This is not the same team uh, composition that we saw in game number one. And unicorns of love. Uh, a lot more tools available. Um, 
No contest from Fnatic because they're dealing with double supers. Right, Unicorns, you've had a little over an hour to figure out how to kill oh, a Nexus. Careful. He might walk into a trap here. Fnatic's in the brush. To kill a Nexus with double supers. Oh, he's walking in there! <laughs> Oh, baby, he's dead. Okay, what did it cost? What did it cost? Uh, Stranglethorns. You're playing against... On to Samax, goes Golden, captures buying some time. Equalizer, chunking down, but look at the shields and the heels. There's so much to work with. Caps will get dropped down as Chachi runs him across the map. The Nethergrass was enough time. The Unicorns of Love have got both of the Nexus turrets. And there's the flash forward. Soaz gets Exile, gets Hillisun. That's a Golden Soaz. Broxa is under pressure. Samax still on full HP. Rectus is trying to get the kills. It simply won't matter. The Unicorns of Love, they get the fourth kill of the fight, turn their attention to the Nexus, and they will win 2-1 to one over Fnatic. Oh man, what a fun game to watch if you like some team fights. Over and over, just fighting around the mid lane, then the Baron.